two kings will probably go over there on uh, one and two. We got a truck coming in on high tide. We haven't seen a bloop, bloop, bloop in a minute. I'll tell you what though, I didn't catch it on camera, but when, as soon as I was coming into this boat ramp today, it was low tide and dad and son both did straight up slips, straight to, I mean, flat on their backs, dude. It was, it was, it was so nice to see the, the dad fell first, maybe about 65, 70 years old. He was on the floor for a minute, the son contemplated, and he was like, damn, dude, that's my dad. So then, you know, the dad is there kind of like, like a little baby seal about to get eaten by a sark. And then the, the son comes in and, and <laughs> it kind of helps, right? As soon as he goes to help, the freaking son just goes straight up flat on his back. Oh man, look at this. Oh no. All right, he's good, he's good. He got lucky high tide helped him. So yeah, the guy ended up, I mean, he almost by a hair whiplashed his head right into um to the to the boat ramp i mean I, it was hard not to laugh i'll be honest with you guys when i see somebody get up and they're not you know like bleeding everywhere i just start cracking up you know i at least give myself that filter and obviously you guys don't know this right like the story so but now you know but if i don't tell on myself no one ever knows so, but deep down inside i was i was laughing my ass i think i even posted something on instagram like the the aftermath and if you guys don't follow my instagram check out luxury rib tenders on uh, ig i'll do some some crazy stories and stuff but yeah i saw it happen it was it sucks because you know you see it coming right i didn't have the camera set up at that point but wow and it's how it guys it's happened to me and i'm sure if you've had a boat long enough and and gone on a boat you've you've had your your spill stories at the boat ramp my advice is just go with the flow. Just slide with the ramp. Don't fight the ramp. Just slide with it and just bloop, bloop, bloop. And you'll be better off than falling straight on your back. Oh man, what is this? A helicopter? Oh yeah. We got a helicopter coming above. What is this? Trauma. Trauma star. Where is he? Where is he? Trauma star. Oh boy, that's not good, okay? So typically, whenever you see those helicopters down here, it's some type of really, really, really crazy accident and they need to get somebody from down south because he's, he's heading more south right now. And um, they take him to normally Jackson Memorial Trauma Center. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue the chit show. Um, let me uh, tell you my war stories and slip and falls. I mean, I'll tell you, if we have lawyers that, that just ambulance chase, this is the place to be, guys. This is it, just come over here, trust me, I guarantee you. Oh my goodness, what is this? Look at the size of this Invincible coming into frame, bro. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's a cat too, is it a cat? Oh man, I haven't seen this boat out here. Hold on, hold on guys, hold on. Damn. Um, I'm a big fan of that Pilot House Invincible that they did, that 46. Oof, that thing is so nice. I really liked it a lot. Ooh, he hit the trailer. We hit the trailer with the front tire and we got it on. Well, that could be considered a hit and run. I mean, he tapped it. He tapped it. Come on, let's be. But there's evidence there. There you go. <laughs> what I was just saying about the attorneys, bro. This is it. This is the place you want to be. Uh, here, you know, ambulance chasers and divorce attorneys. You guys are going to make a killing over here. Come to Blackport Marina. Um, if you want to find it on Google Maps, type in Chit Show Live. Uh, please leave your review. And uh, that is a big, big boy, bro. Come out to my guess. I want to see this get in the water. He's got the he's got the backup uh, alarm on and everything. It looks wrapped. It might be a fishing team. Damn, that's a big bull. 
quad setup. Damn, he's he's even wearing waders, bro. You know these guys are serious when they're waiting. Oh, he's gonna check out the damage. He's gonna check out the damage. Oh, shoot. Damn. Is that evidence? Oh, no. Bro, this is why you, you, gotta, you gotta do the right thing, bro. Leave a little note, leave a little note. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, don't, I hate doing this, bro, but you know what? This is, bro, this is the name, the, the nature of the game, bro. You could, that could be you. What would you want you to do? All right, let's see. Hold on, guys. Let's see. The question is, what did he pick up? Did, did, he, did he take off the side of the fender or was it a light? Um, we'll be the mediators in this uh, process. For $109.95, I'll, I'll go ahead and be the, the mediator in this uh, scenario. And, and let's be, be mindful that this gentleman has to go fishing and he doesn't want to be bothered by the accident that he just had. So, it was a little tap, bro. <sighs> nothing, nothing drives me more nuts than I go to the damn grocery store and you have like a, you know, four inch gash or a, a big ass thing on your car. That just drives me nuts. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna, all right, hold on guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me ask these guys. Let me ask them real quick. Um, bro, who's got that music on, bro? Really, bro? Seriously, who's got the music on? It has to be, bro. It has to be. It has to be. Look at this. Look at this. All right. All right. This is a beautiful Invincible. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy real quick. See if he wants to, to say hello. After after what we just saw, dude. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man. And we got some Marcero music in the background, bro. Hey, Captain, what did you guys hit? The trailer? Did you knock the trailer? What came off on the trailer? It was your wheel, but, but what came off? Did something come off on the trailer? Your wheel came off? The disc. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, coño. All right, I was wondering. I'm gonna I'm gonna create a fake chicho then. <laughs> you did because of me. Because of you. You tell them that. I have. You know I'm the best boat salesman in all of America, and I don't even get a damn bottle. Not even a bottle. Listen, I don't even get a bottle from the people I do reviews on. Look at you. Look at you. Thank you, bro. And if you sink today, don't blame me or Freedom Boat Club. <laughs> hey, be safe out there. <laughs> yeah, guys. Hey, listen. I, I listen. I don't need. I don't need uh, adoration from from anybody, right? Um, but. I find it ironic when, when people want me and need me, they all scramble and they go, oh, cause you know, things are not the best anymore. So all of a sudden, you know, you want a guy like me on your side because, hey, I, I put some eyes on your product, your, you know, your service or whatnot. But yeah, bro, hey, I'm, I'm tired of people getting uh, uh, shitting on me all over. But listen, I gotta give much respect to Al and Anthony from Carrera, because you know what? Every year, every single year, I get, 
I don't know. I don't know what alcohol it is because I just drink it. I get a nice little bottle. I get a little thank you. Every now and then, I'll send me a happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas text. And you know what? That goes far for a lot of people. So, And I'm going to end this damn video on that, on the Freedom Boat flag. Where's the Freedom Boat flag? Because look at this, guys. Can we get? No, we can't even get. We can't get the flag, guys. I'm, we're too. There's the, the tide is too high. Hey, listen. I'm out of here. Um, ah. Bro, not even a bot, not even a thank you note, bro. Not even a thank you note, bro. Que, 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 que pena, bro. Que pena. Listen, what I think makes me successful in what I do in my business is that every year, whether I like the person or not, I tell them, listen, I appreciate you because I'm still working for you and I'm still making money with you and I'm still doing business with you. And you help me and I help you. And I want to show my appreciation. Sometimes they come, sometimes they go, but they, they respect me at the end. And then in the future, then when they see me on the street, they're going to be like, you know what? Alfred's a class, classy guy. You know what I'm saying? He, he was difficult to work with because, you know, I couldn't manipulate him, da, 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 whatever. I don't care. But, but the point is, I always tell people, you are your own currency. Measure yourself when you can do things and have people help you when you don't need to use money or influence or power. When people want to go out of the way to do something for you, that to me is a true badass. So I'm out of here, bro. Now, now I'm upset. Now I'm, I'm, I'm upset. And I'm going to actually post this video after the holidays because I don't want somebody to be, be guilted to go ahead and give me something. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should guilt a couple of you. Uh, guys, um, the credits below, I'm going to start scrolling all the people who I helped that don't do nothing for me. Let me go ahead and put it below. Oh, man. This guy just went in. Hold on, hold on. And he's going to do it again. He's going to make the same mistake. Guys, high tide is here. He completely just went in a little further than he should have. Oh, no, his, his wheels are still in the water. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens over here, guys. Wheels in the water. And uh, does he need to go? Oh, no, he's coming out. He's coming. But it looks like he has 4x4 four four because you would think he would be slipping a little bit. Uh, there he goes. He's out of harm's way. No, the first time he was really, really in there. Does it look good on the ground, babe? Yeah, I think it looks good. FWC will let us define. <laughs> no, I, I honestly I don't think, guys. Um, I don't think FWC likes that, but everybody does it, right? And when I say FWC, that's Florida Wildlife. Uh, um, so I mean, apparently they like it. You know, I wonder like uh, what a biologist would say about that. Like you know, tap water. I don't drink tap water. That's for peasants. Oh no! Oh no, Alfred. Listen, guys, I don't. I just don't like it. I don't like the taste of it, so I just drink beer. Oh no! I'm such a monster! No, no, just kidding, guys. I drink whiskey. Whiskey! Man, let me tell you something. Um, here's what I like about the chit show, right? I feel like I could almost say everything. Like, we were, we were at the parks. And I'll be honest, I'm going to tell you what was in my mind. You guys, this, like when you hear me saying the chit show, oh, she's back at it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. She's back at it. When you guys hear me talking on the chit show, you're actually getting my deepest thoughts filtered, right? Because I have to filter them for YouTube and whatnot. Um, but like I was at the parks with the family and I see everybody. I'm looking at everybody. And you know, there's always a, that, that group of people that swear that they're brand new that you know they can't be touched and all that good stuff leave it all dolly <laughs> hold on hold on hold on guys we got we got two we got two things going on here well listen the point is that there's always people that kind of think that they're brand new right that they they think that they're important and all that bro you see it you see it all the time and to me those are the people that the tryhards right 
And I look at him and I'm like, in my mind, <laughs> I don't know, I just think weird, bro. And I'm talking about for males and females, guys. This could go both ways. I was looking at him and I was at the, at the you know, sweaty, long day. And in my mind, I looked at people and in my mind, I said, bro, your ass thinks right now as much as mine. It literally does. Tu tienes una peste pintura. And then it kind of, it kind of made sense to me. I simplified it. What's up, Mo Flo? What's going on, man? Happy Thanksgiving, bro. Miralo, miralo, miralo. Acabando. So, so yeah. Um, just remember, when you start acting brand new and you think you're important or better than the other people, just remember, when you're at a damn park and you're running, your ass smells just as bad, all right? Alfred says so. Oh, she's still hot. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Hold on, guys. She's still at it. No, wait. Yo no know why I see now, Alex. He's talking about Alex from Bozone, guys. That's one of his buddies. Este, en dos horas. So yeah, um, oh boy, it's getting deeper, guys. Hold on a second. Things are getting, things are getting interesting over here, my friends. Things are getting interesting. You think she's gonna go ahead and swim with the manatees? Oh boy, she doesn't know what to do. Like this is the, the highlight of her day. You think she was a manatee in her past life? You know what's always funny? Because she has no idea that I'm here. They're Freedom Boat uh, members, guys. They don't know. They don't know that the chit show is filmed out of here. So, Dime! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's going back and forth, guys. But wait a second, guys. This is... Oh, they're tag teaming, guys. Look at these two, bro. The freaking water bill here at Black Point is going to be insane. I cannot believe these people are just going like this. Like, these have to be the international tourists, guys. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Look at that. She's going to grab. Look, she just, she's like, she devo. She goes, give me that shit. This is, I'm the one doing this. Stop doing this. It's me. Oh, she's, she's got the long squirt now. She's, she's getting warm at the distance. Oh, she's, she just spotted the, the smaller one. Wait for it. I can't believe I made a whole chit show about somebody just freaking watering the damn manatees. This is absolutely insane. Oh man. I get upset. I get upset when my kids just go ahead, you know, take a 45-minute shower. Who needs to take a 45-minute shower? I know when you're 14, bro. What happens when you take a 45-minute shower? And so do your parents, kids. So do your parents. I just want you to know that we know what really happens. What do you mean? I was listening to the music. Why do you have to have the music so loud? Hmm? What are you trying to hide? All right, guys, this continues. All right, guys, I'm doing this for the record so we can go ahead and count the gallons, the gallons per minute that are being wasted here. Maybe we can go ahead and this is, this is, this is why, this is why we have to pay 
uh, yearly more and more money. Oh man, how cool would it be if freaking Fred the Croc just shows up? Oh my goodness, I will die. I would die. Oh, she shut it off. Damn, guys, the party's over. She shut up. Oh man, but that would be amazing. That would be amazing if Fred the Croc it just shows up. All right, whatever. Pointless. I'm surprised why they haven't left. Um, whatever, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna tr try to see if I can engage with them, see if they're tourists.
holy smack I just saw something breathing and I hope it's not Fred I see bubbles guys you see those little bubbles that means there's something there guys I can't see what's there but uh, there trust me when I tell you there's something there you don't see nothing this there's something here guys there's something here I know I know you guys don't know but I've been here long enough to know oh look at him look at him I got you you see that a manatee Woof. guys I have to be on point when I'm here because I know one day I know one day the croc is gonna say wait for it then look at him look at him look at him look at him, look at him over there look at him over there that's awesome Woof. scary stuff though scary damn right next to the freaking floating glass bottle bro terrible hey, sp hey guys listen clean up after yourselves especially when you're out in, in these islands come on man we we got to do better with that like like it's seriously embarrassing that we're, we're making national news because you guys can't go ahead and get a trash bag and put it back on your boat and dump it at the marina right come on man we're better than that what, what an epic day guys wow all i can say is uh absolutely crazy day guys don't forget to like and subscribe it's amazingness that's what we do out for mountaineer making a scene as always i'm out of here